Hello Aquarius, welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is the first half of February of 2023 spiritual advice reading. For this reading I've been guided to the Good Tarot deck by Colette Baron reed and I'm going to be laying a circle spread. So dear Lord, spirit guides and angels, please bless whichever Aquarius needs to hear this information most with clearly defined messages of spiritual advice for the first half of February of 2023. <clears throat> All right, so we have an Aquarius at the very beginning of February of 2023 who is thinking about someone who has Virgo in their chart with the Hermit as a major arcana. Now these keys are really jumping out in this doorway. Are you picking out houses? Are you giving away a key? Are you wanting to move in with someone? Uh, whether or not this person is a Virgo Aquarius, I do feel like you're thinking a lot about making changes in the area of home or business at the beginning of February. Happy birthday if your birthday is in February. Now in the thoughts position, we have some form of temptation. Hmm. So there may need to be a bit of hermit action, going deep within, really thinking things through when it comes to some form of temptation in your thoughts. In the relationship sector, we have the two of earth. Which person or situation am I going to move forward with? So someone here is being tempted. Could have to do with money with the two of earth energy, could have to do with earth energy in general, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Wow. Now in the creative aspects position, we've got the 10 of water. We have the manifestation of maybe a very tempting new direction uh, financially, a new location. And that's why there's this door of a house or business with a key. So if you are creating a new direction in the area of money, spirit is saying a good communication is headed your way so with the page of water energy what you are wanting to create feels like a wish come true because of this communication yes okay in the emotional aspects position we have the messenger of fire Ooh. so we've got not so much emotion but a quite a bit of passion and temptation wanting to make a wish come true taking action to respond to communication what in the world in the subconscious position we've got the moon representing someone who may have pisces in their chart this is also subconsciously the ability to reflect when you are in a state of indecision to remain hopeful that spirit will hear your prayers when it comes to who or what you are wishing for because the ten of water is a happily ever after the uh, and in the actions position there is positive communication or a desire to communicate emotionally now in the day-to-day -day aspects position i think if you are indecisive between earth energy and water pisces cancer scorpio versus Virgo Taurus Capricorn spirit I think is nudging this Aquarius to go into the direction of either thinking about what you're wishing for so spirit can help you to manifest that or into the direction of this earth energy Virgo type energy now, in other cases, if, if you're waiting on an opportunity in the area of business, Spirit is sending the Ace of Earth or Pentacles in the form of a gift from the universe where your wishes will come true. You can create a new opportunity for yourself and Spirit will offer you this gift. You may be communicating passionately and excitedly because of this new tempting offer, be it professional or personal, in the first half of February. In the inner strengths position, we have the Ten of Fire, okay? So, you could have been in a direction for a period of time in the area of home, family, or business. And now and there is uh, needs to be some clarity here about change. What are you passionate, passionate about and who or what is tempting you here? 
Oh boy. So on the bottom of the deck, we have the tower card. Now the death card is when we see something hap uh, coming to an end or we bring something to an end. But in this case with the tower type energy, this is something that transpires outside of ourselves rather unexpectedly. Oh, so we do have the king of fire energy. This is uh, a few things. King of fire, Sagittarius or Leo or someone who's in a leadership position. Um, there is a shocking and unexpected realization that someone here has connected uh, with a business person. All right, we got the Queen of Fire now. So we got the King of Fire and the Queen of Fire. Two passionate people coming together, deciphering. Is this a soul connection? Hmm. Putting a lot of time and effort in. Conflicted about actions. What action steps to take in the area of love? Nine of air. Should I or should I not travel into the direction of someone? Should I or should I not accept an offer of money? So a couple things going on. Leaving troubled waters behind. Thinking about marriage, commitment, partnership, coming together, sharing money. Mm, I feel like a second person could come in. And I just saw the air energy like yourself, Aquarius, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, trying to decipher the long-term traditional commitment to someone. What is the most balanced connection or situation? Researching money and trying to decipher the path of fulfillment here. Celebrations because of passionate new directions. Heartache. Okay, so temptation here could cause heartache. And that's why I think Spirit's saying with the moon card, kick back and reflect. Especially if you're indecisive in the relationship sector at this time. Now by mid-February of 2023, we've got the truth card of the Ace of Air or Swords in the page of air. So communicating the truth, getting to the truth, receiving some form of communication in the area of business and recognizing a new path with the ace of air is a blessed path of victory. So what am I going to do? Communicate with an air energy, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini and try to get to the truth of that direction? There is a long and difficult path ending in the area of a Taurus, if you wanted to know that. That's why uh, new temptations and directions are opening up for you, Aquarius, because a couple things. A long and difficult path has ended in the area of, oh, someone wants to end a long and difficult path in the area of marriage for some. Communicating, receiving good money about, good news about money, that's good. You get to manifest what you want here, but be careful of temptation is a big message here. Something could go from zero to ten and then boom, it just goes back to fun words and messages, but doesn't grow into anything. And that's what could cause pain. Indecision could cause pain. All right, and that's why there is actually a message for a little bit of non-action here. And you know what? I'm going to confirm and clarify these messages. Yeah, there is indecision for some regarding communication with someone around them in the first half of February. <laughs> okay, lover energy, passion, excitement, needing to go deep here, needing to think about some form of temptation in your thoughts. Yes, wanting to go out and have a good time. Hmm. Trying to decipher. Okay, so Spirit is giving you guys, Aquarius, the strength to decipher with the Priest card uh, the truth of your situation, especially in the area of relationships. Trying to get to the truth of. And the lover's looking up at the moon, which is Pisces type energy, needing to take a pause, moment of pause and reflection here. Faithfulness. Creating faithfulness. I feel with this hermit energy, in some cases with a Virgo, is the direction spirit's trying to guide you towards if you are conflicted. 
For in the actions position, we have kind words and messages coming your way to help you to bring an end to the widower card. Right, someone's standing at the grave in spirit saying, I want to communicate with someone. Or I'm receiving communication to move on from what ended here. Wow. Messenger of fire and an older woman wanting to go into the direction of this woman very quickly and passionately because it's directly across from the lovers and temptation but spirit saying get to the truth of the situation if there's an earth sign involved Virgo Taurus Capricorn uh, only create faithful connections uh, be careful of temptation think things through with the death card you will have the strength to bring an end to what was and move forward Someone might be thinking about going back to someone, but that is what went from zero to ten, and it'll burn out again somehow. So day to day, we've got the Ace of Earth and the Merchant card. So again, new paths, offers, opportunities, bonuses, raises, profits are coming your way if you'll continue to devote yourself to uh, your work. Okay, right now that can ground you uh, in the midst of some form of temptation. Uh, day to day, we have, again, something that's gone on for maybe 10, 10 plus years uh, in the area of wedding, marriage, commitment, partnership. And there's just a little bit of indecision about an ending because um, either someone, an Aquarius is, tr is, is fearing someone's faithfulness or is being tempted when it comes to your own faithfulness. So we have stubborn wife service. <laughs> I'm stubborn and frustrated when it comes to money and abundance. I am hoping for faithfulness. If you're worried about a relationship that it's grown a little dull, that's happening to a lot of people at this time in the depth of winter, you know, it's time to create change. It's time to come up with something playful and fun to do. Yeah, serve what you have if you are a wife. You have grown and evolved and now you can, in some cases, discuss what feels misfortunate to you. Some may be thinking about going to a doctor and talking to someone else because you can't talk to this person or there's something deep within you. Yeah, feeling alone. Now for others, as you're sitting there feeling alone, here comes the enemy traveling into your direction to tempt you. Oh my. Put him in the friend zone. I just saw that. I mean, that's up to you if you want to go through a lesson all over again, but it looks like with the old woman energy and the emotional aspects position, you can handle when someone comes quick, you, quick towards you unexpectedly. You can bring something to an end before it begins servicing a joyful situation contemplating a reunion where there is a child or children involved thinking about changes in the area of home maybe thinking about creating forward movement with someone who is a soldier waiting on love communication feeling stuck or trapped in a situation where you're trying to heal from sorrow it is time to let things go. A path has gone full circle. It is indeed time to open your heart again, not to the temptation of someone, but to the faithfulness of someone. It's going to be okay. Um, there is going to be great abundance and fortune, and, and, and you can um, fix. It's like think of the marriage as it's time for the next chapter and really think about uh, trying to really build that back up. Because temptation could get you. Okay. Oh my. Let me know. Older woman. And maybe a younger woman. Of course, I don't see that yet. But I do see stubbornness and frustration. What's that about? Regarding money. Maybe you're afraid to open up and share all of that with someone again. But look at Spirit is helping you to see more clearly around the 12th of February of 2023. Again, like we were just talking about, 
Now is the time to view things from a different perspective, okay? You will find that you have the blessed gift to see past the current situation or circumstance and to now envision amazing possibilities. Don't worry about this pause and momentum while you rethink your plan, for it will not last. Embrace your uniqueness and allow it to serve you to bring an ending to indecision and now create uh, new experiences for the two of you. Whatever projects you've been working on or towards, you're going to find as well in the first half of February of 2023, Aquarius, that your projects are a total success and that they are indeed going to bring some form of awards, promotions, or other recognition for your efforts. So that's what this good news is about. Directly below the Ace of Pentacles. Well done. Say yes to an offer, an opportunity, a raise, a bonus to that meeting. Because uh, your attention is well deserved. Should these messages have resonated for you and or you would like your own personal energy read, feel free to write me for a personal reading via my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. I offer four one-half-hour video readings, and they are a one-month, three-month, six-month, or yearly reading, and my price list will be in the box below this video, along with the beautiful comments section. I am still offering the winter special, which is a 15-minute video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give that a try. Uh, I My percentages of coming back after just a winter special reading, I think are up around 80 to 90%. So thank you for all of those personal readings and for continuing uh, to trust in my gift uh, whereby I can provide uh, positive spiritual guidance. Take care and God bless.